It only took me months to finish this, and here's why. Well, it's not April anymore for sure. After leaving my 9 to 5 job that was becoming increasingly stressful, I had all sorts of plans, including posting this video. However, this is not what I had in mind. It was meant to be my comeback video after not having posted anything for the whole year. Truth is, the last year or so have been such a steep and uphill battle, day in and day out, with challenges left front and center. Traveling to Germany and spending three weeks with my sister in January gave me a chance to de-stress that gave me some clarity that I was looking for. That being said, knowing what to do and finding the strength and courage to actually do them are two very different things. Just a couple of months later, I did find the courage to leave my job that was becoming increasingly stressful and may I even say toxic. Having an acute sense of justice sensitivity, I was battling on various fronts where I felt wrong decisions were being made or my colleagues were not treated the way that they should. I believed that by leaving the role, I would have all this energy to focus on my self-employment, pursue an exciting new business idea that I came up with, and tackle all the challenges in my personal life. Unfortunately, it couldn't have been further from the truth. I didn't realize of how exhausting my daily battles had been. I did not have energy for anything. My body was not allowing me to fight any more battles for a while. I would go as far and say that I went into a depressive state as I was struggling to find purpose and started questioning my skills after receiving a rejection from a job that I really, really wanted and believed I would have been great at. Imposter syndrome kicked in. I was really great at what I did in my role, but I questioned my achievements and abilities all over again. Knowing and accepting I am neurodiverse has helped me understand and tackle my challenges in a different and beneficial way that worked for me personally. This included talking to my new friends that I was able to make while completing module 1 and 2 towards becoming an ADHD coach, as well as working with a therapist. Listening to my body and doing what is right for me never came natural to me as a people pleaser, and it was a really hard decision to come to when I dropped out of my ADHD coaching training module 3 in Spain. There's much more that I would like to share, and I will with time, but the last thing I want to do is commit to weekly videos and put myself under that pressure when I still have a lot of baggage to carry. Through all of this though, the one thing that I have definitely learned is that it is during the challenging times that we learn more about ourselves compared to the good times. Once I have processed everything for myself, I will share my findings with you that will hopefully help and encourage you on your own journey. I hope to see you then. I'm Tor and I shall see you in the next one.